students today we will see lesson 3.3 a crow in the house ruskin bond's story revolve around his love for nature and in this lesson he discusses about a pet crow and its behavior and how although on one hand he is considered to be a pet by the author and his grandfather on the other hand the same crow is considered as a pest by the author's grandmother now let's see the story and try to understand the young crow had fallen from its nest and was fluttering about on the road in the danger of being crushed by a cart or a tonga or seized by a cat when i picked it up and brought it home it was in a sorry condition beak gapping and head dropping and we did not expect it to live but grandfather and i did our best to bring it round we fed it by prizing its beak gently open with a pencil pushing in a little bread and milk and then removing the pencil to allow it to swallow we varied this diet with occasional doses of grandmother's homemade plum wine and as a result the young crow was soon on the road to recovery now the author is telling that they had found the crow on the road in a very poor condition they were not knowing what had happened it had it was crushed by the cart or tonga or it was seized by a cat but they brought brought it home and they tried to save him they fed him by prizing its beak gently means use force to move apart means giving food inside the beak they used to open the beak with the help of pencil and put the food inside and then remove the pencil so that the crow can take the food in varied means having many different kinds fluttering means fly and steadily tonga means horse drawn two wheeled vehicle fed means gave food so they used to give them him a varied diet varied diet means sometimes bread and milk and sometimes plum wine which was plum plum wine which was made by grandmother he he was offered his freedom but he did not take it instead he made himself at home in the house grandmother aunt mabel and even some of the grandfather's pets objected but there was no way of getting rid of the bird he took over the administration of the house now the crow was in a good condition so they offered him the freedom to go away wherever he wanted but the crow did not leave the house grandmother aunt mabel and even grandfather's few other pets means grandfather had kept some pets at the home they were also very irritated objected means they were against it but then also crow did not leave the house and he took the administration of the house means he was behaving as he want in the house we were not sure that he was male but we called him caesar means they had they don't know he was male or female but they were calling it caesar before long caesar was joining us at meal times besides finding his own grubs or beetles in the garden he was going out in the garden also and finding his own grubs and beetles means grubs and beetles means the larva of the insects but then also at the time of meal he danced about on the dining table and gave us no peace until he had been given his small bowl of meat and soup and vegetables means he was moving around the table only till he did not get small bowl of meat soup and vegetables he was always restless restless means he was not sitting quiet always disturbing and always doing something fidgeting fidgeting means to make small nervous movements of hands and feet about investigating things he would hop across a table to empty a matchbox empty a matchbox means he used to put the matchsticks out of the matchbox of its content or rip the daily paper to shreds rip means put something away paper to shreds means torn strips or over overturn a vase of flowers used to throw off the flower vase or tug at the tail of one of the dogs then he used to disturb the dogs also that crow will be the ruin of us grumbled grandmother picking marigolds off the carpet cannot you keep him in a cage now grandmother was angry this crow will be ruin for us means he will do destructions always in our house 
grumbled means complain about something bad tempered way she told grandfather let's keep him in the cage we did try keeping scissor in cage but he was so angry and objected with such fierce cawing and flapping that it was better for our nerves and of and peace of mind to give him the run of the house now they tried keeping him in the cage but it was very angry and cawing in a very bad way and flapping the wings he did not show any inclination to join the other crows in the banyan tree means inclination means a feeling that makes somebody want to behave in a way means he did not want to join the crows which were always coming on the banyan tree grandfather said that this was because he was really a jungle crow grandfather said that he was a jungle crow so he did not want to go and meet the other crows a raven of sorts a raven of sort means not of good quality and probably felt a little contemptuous showing disregard of very ordinary carrion crow carrion means a flesh of an animal that has been dead but it seemed to me that scissor having grown used to living with humans as an equal terms had become snobbish snobbish means to consider oneself to be superior to others means selfish and did not wish to mix with his own kind he would even squabble squabble means to quarrel with herald the hornbill preaching on top of the herald's cage he would peck at the bird at the big bird's feet peck means to bite with beak whereupon herald would swear and scold and try to catch the scissor through the bars grandfather was thinking that he was like a jungle crow so he did not want to go with the other crow but the other was thinking that he was living with the human so he had become selfish he wanted to stay here only in the house he used to disturb herald means it was a hornbill which was a pet of grandfather he used to peck to the bird's feet and was disturbing it in time scissor learn to talk a little as raven sometimes do in a cracked throaty voice now after sometimes scissor started to talk also as ravens do sometimes means in very cracked noise he would sit for hours outside the window banging on the glass with his beak and calling hello hello he was sitting on the window and banging on the glass and saying hello hello he seemed to recognize the click of the gate when i came home from school and would come to the door with a hop skip and jump saying hello hello he was listening to the voice of the gate as the other was coming back from the school he used to go to him and he used hop he used to hop skip jump and say hello hello i had also taught him to sit on my arm and say kiss kiss while he placed his head gently against my mouth now author had taught him to say kiss kiss and so he placed his head gently against my mouth one on one of the aunt mabel's visit scissor alighted on her arm and cackled kiss kiss now when aunt mabel came to the ho- at home scissor alighted to his arm means he sat on the arm and cackled cackled means said kiss kiss aunt mabel was delighted and possibly flattered and leant forward for a kiss but scissor's intention shifted to my aunt's gleaming spectacles and thrusting at them with his beak he knocked them off now flatters mean to say nice things to someone delighted means happy gleaming means shining now aunt was very happy that crow is telling me to kiss so she was very happy and just about to do but crow's attention went to the gleaming spectacles and thrusting at them his beak he knocked them out thrusting means to push somebody suddenly means he took the spectacles and throw threw them down aunt mabel never was a success with the pets knocked means to make a noise by hitting something pet or pest grandmother insisted that scissor was a pest in spite of his engaging habits now grandfather is again grandmother is again angry pet or pest pest means an insect or animal that destroys everything if he 
has restricted his activities to our house it would have not been so bad if he has restricted means limited till our house only that's throwing things here and there breaking things but na he took to visiting neighboring houses and stealing pens and pencils hair ribbons combs keys shuttlecocks toothbrushes and false teeth he was especially fond of toothbrushes and made a collection of them on the top of the cupboard in my room most of the neighbors were represented in our house by a toothbrush toothbrush sales went up the, that year so did grandmother's blood pressure now he was not only disturbing and breaking things in our house but he was going to the neighbor house and took their things and brought them to the house for example pen pencil hair ribbons combs keys shuttlecocks toothbrushes and false teeth he was very fond of toothbrushes so he toothbrushes he brought everyone's toothbrushes in the house and he increased grandmother's blood pressure scissors spite tooth on children going into the banias shop and often managed to snatch sweets from them as they came out now he was observing children also spied means to observe carefully and make out something he was observing the children going to banias shop and whatever they purchased from there he was snatching from their hands example sweets clothes specs fascinated him clothes specs means the uh, clips which we put from the clothes he was fascinated means attracted and he used to snatch that also neighbors would return from the bazaar to find their washing lying in the mud and no sign of the pegs now neighbors were disturbed when they went to bazaar their clothes were lying in the mud and the pegs were not there these two found their way to the top of my cupboard now these all things were found where on the others cupboard it was scissors gardening activity that finally led to disaster now the gardening activity led to disaster means tragedy he was help in himself to our neighbors beans when a stick was flung at him he was helping himself to the neighbors beans means he was plucking the beans and flung means to throw something breaking his leg the stick came in such a way that it broke its leg i carried the unfortunate bird home and grandfather and washed i washed the band and bandaged his leg as best we could now again he was hurt on the leg grandfather and the other tried to bandage it and make him again fly but it would not mend means mend means to repair scissor hung his head and no longer talked he grew weaker day by day now he was not able to fly and do any activities so he grew weaker and weaker day by day refusing to eat an occasional sip of grandmother's homemade wine was all that kept him going he did not eat anything only he took sip of grandmother's homemade wine one morning i found him dead on the sofa his leg stiff in the air poor caesar his anti social habits had led to his early end now one day he was found dead on the sofa so they are thinking that his anti social activities only led him to the death i dug a shallow grave in the garden grave means burying place and buried him there along with all the toothbrushes and clothes specs he had taken so much trouble to collect he was buried by all the things what he had collected it is by ruskin bond from grandfather's private zoo